friend! The darkness of his eye. Oh my god. Friend! Oh no, who are you? Talk, talk to me. If you, if I get blamed for this. Oh my god, the music. Morphine him. Oh. Who's Mother Elizabeth? <gasps> Can I get into the... Oh, you guys, we're gonna do it. I think Mother Elizabeth is at the reception desk. If that's true, then we will definitely, definitely, yes. Let's get into that old guy's office. Uh, open the door with the morphine syringe. Find the, find the key. Yes. Doors, no. Oh, it's not, I have the key. Wait, oh, flashback. Oh, it's little Alex, I'm so cute. Don't look into his eyes. I wonder if I'm gonna see Herbert. This is a cool kid. Hello, cool kid, be my friend. Because dwells in his eyes. Am I go there, the deepest darkness. I am such a little schoolboy. I'm like Harry Potter. Come in, my son. Hello, friend. Hey, is this the Long Signora's room? Did you think you couldn't hide these books from me? Is it my pornography? Sirens, instruments of falsehood, you'll mean. Fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, don't get on, get on your knees and raise your arms. I know where this is going, guys. Oh, that's not where I thought this was going. No! Malaminsay. Insane Asylum? Is that what that's supposed to say? Oh, it's Latin. Oh, of course. If I was taking Latin, I guess I would have known that. Oh. A strange eye-shaped symbol. If this window breaks... Eye of the bird. Arr, stop! Hey, that window didn't break. Ha! Huh, knew it. That's a lot of crosses. I think they're overdoing it. They're obviously trying to compensate for something. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest. Ernest? It's been many years since I last heard that name since... Oh... I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please. Entreaties, petitions, praying, torment, exception, past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. Hey, look, I'm back to being me. One of my old students, you say. It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciples. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why did you think this would help? He has a large burn covering his eyes. He's completely blind. Oh no. In spite of his decrepitude, extreme thinness and paleness, I still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Oh my god. Glory be to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal. Um, the delicate petal. No, 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 you're enveloped by sin. I don't think any of those answers were right. And now, my son, tell the Lord which one of, of his is his holy path, the wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance. I did not go to church enough to get any of these. Uh, endless blame. Oh, oh, I got it. Uh, that's it, my son, the no-struck-cold bun. Fida est, and it always was and will. And now, my son, tell the Lord, who are you? The faceless pilgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman? Seaman. I am... I am... The faceless pilgrim. No, oh, god damn it. Do I have to keep going in there till I get three questions right? Can I go back in? Can I just jug him? Damn it. What's this note? No, don't morphine the note. Get out. Uh, fine. 
Despite being blind, he preserve, preserves. Yeah, preserves. Good hearing. I must be more careful when moving. Alright, I think we need to try this again because there's really been nothing outside to do. And we're so close to the end, I feel. What do I do with this? Stab him. I don't know why I'd want to stab him. Stab Jesus. What do I need a razor for? <gasps> I'll sharpen the log. I can use it to cut. Yes! Alright, let's go open up that room. <laughs> I can use it to cut. <laughs> use it to cut. And use it to cut you shall. <laughs> Sounds like he ripped his pants. I think I ripped my pants again. Hey, friends! And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jerema. Alex DeVitt shows up. Where were you, my friend? We've been looking for you. Where's Herbert? Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next. That tonight is the perfect moment. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveying surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? So who is it, Herbert? We found him. You mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I've decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the dining room? I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know at 12 o'clock you'll find that door open, and I'll be inside the lounge. That's it, my dearest colleagues. Vindet Nikiskia. Vindet Nikiskia. Oh no! I remember that in this furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it's empty. Hmm. Punch through it. Punch through it to prove your manliness to yourself. I remember this is the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Grab it. Oh no. Why in the world would I do that? Oh, uh, no, no more bien. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Uh, can I pick up the candle? No. Uh, of course not. Ugh, oh, bloody doors. When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument. I don't think Mr. Rabbit would do very well in that argument. Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? And then they ate him. Mr. Wolf answered politely, what we are trying to decide whether it here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Hmm. And then the rabbit proceeded to eat them. Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I don't want to be eaten. I want to live. Where am I? To which Mrs. Snake answered, smiling, That's impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later, don't you think so? And then the rabbit ripped open his chest and gained immortality. Mr. Vulture added, Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It's getting late, and you, as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as to, one, as to one to eat to? And the rabbit, being nice, cut himself into three shares. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle, and I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. I guess the competition is balanced. What do you think? Oh, and then Mr. Rabbit runs away. Really run? Oh, I hope those aren't real people. The three predators agreed, and they disappeared. No, oh, this is a longer note. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predator, who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. Well, I'm glad things ended well for Mr. Rabbit. Didn't I walk down this hall? 
Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning, but suddenly there was a loud bang, the earth shook, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. Oh, I get it. He was sh- <gasps> Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is worse than the freaking crows. An impossible love. It's me! There was something I kept for myself for a long time. And the thing is that I love you. I have always loved you, my princess. Since the first time I saw you, since the first time I felt your frozen hand upon mine. Upon mine. Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty, dead eyes. That's romantic. Glassy, empty eyes. I miss your rough hair, your gray skin, your stench. Is this guy into corpses? Because that's not very hot. But I love just can't be. It's an impossible love. The end. I don't know whether that story was heartwarming or incredibly creepy. You have horrible dreams, Alex. No, not again. How long have I been sleeping? What was all that about? Let's just hope there's no more goddamn bunnies. In the nightmare, I found a place. A place in my memories. Hmm. Esta no muy bien. See? I like, I'm digging the music though. The music's getting really. It's getting louder. It's getting good. Was there a grandfather clock somewhere? Because I know something was supposed to happen at 12 with my meeting. They said the door would be open. I feel like I walked through this room in my dream, actually. In my disturbing nightmare, I was brought to this spot. Yes, I knew this rug would come up. It's the trapdoor I saw in my nightmare. Is this where I escaped from the bunnies? From here sprouts a horrible stench. There's something down there. Yay! Dead people! Did you see it? Did you see it? I was there, just in front of me. He was screaming. I don't, I don't want this. I don't want this. Ha! It's me! Punctual as always, Devitt. Now all that remains is to introduce our guest. You may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest! Do not worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. The professor genuinely shares our curiosity, and who better to complete our group than one of the most renowned theologists? Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the veil. The moment we have long awaited for is now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat, and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door be open, and then we may finally see what lies beyond. I have a feeling Herbert's the one who got us into this whole mess. Now I ask that you close your eyes. You will feel a momentary prick as I inject... He knew the serum. Uh, I hope the serum wasn't morphine. After all these years, I have not forgotten your voice. You were the fourth witness. I remember. I remember now what happened. What is that I saw? The eye of the bird, Malamin Se. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which cannot be opened. In doing so, we shorn the veil that separated our world from his. In seeking vision, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. This is getting intense, guys. The eye of the bird saw us. It remembers us. It looks for us. It calls us from its darkest nest, from its abominable lair. All these years, I have attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. Maybe if you weren't whipping yourself, you'd have strength. These poor wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them has returned, only us, the four witnesses. Who are the other two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of you, but I was seized by curiosity. It absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. Oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. Nothing remains. All that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Gravely have we sinned, and now I 
our only apt solution is to burn, to burn in the flames. No, 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 not my lum, not my lum, no, no, no in, no, no, ah, say. Oh my god, why would you do that right in front of me? Who's that? <gasps> no, no! Oh, Adam Baldwin's brother, he got me. Did I just get flushed down a toilet? <gasps> I'm in a coffin. God, what? Oh my god, that was so good. I'll definitely do chapter three. Thank you guys for Thank you guys for watching. I hope you stick around. I'm really glad I finished this. Sorry that I couldn't like solve it without looking at any tutorials, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. While I'm here, I wanna show you guys I'm working on a shirt. See, look at it, it's so cute. So I hope maybe to make that and get it so at least I can wear one someday. Because I'm super proud of this channel and I just want to thank all you guys who come and watch it. 15 subscribers, yes, it seems like a whole lot to me. But then I look at other channels that have like a billion. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching.